Hello everyone and welcome to this recording. Today, I'll be showing you how to play uh, puzzles online. And puzzles are very important in learning as they help in improving fine motor skills, especially for young learners. They also help in developing uh, problem solving skills, critical and creative thinking skills, as well as computing skills. And these skills are very important. They are actually referred to as the 21st century uh, skills. You need those skills as a learner. And our learning, especially the CBC, is now shifting to what we call acquiring of skills. And those are the skills that these games, these puzzles are going to help you achieve. So looking at my page here, you see that I have different games. And these games are related to what you've been doing. The first one is Hansel and Gretel game. There is a very hungry caterpillar game. There's a Gruffalo game, of course, a puzzle. And then I've customized, I've made just for, for us to start, just to begin, the one for our library a puzzle for our library you know we have a very uh, very cool and a very smart library and as you can see each puzzle is given a number like this is six this tells us that it is a six piece so there are six pieces here this is 15 pieces nine pieces six pieces and uh, six pieces as well for Hansel and Greater. the number of pieces tells you how easy or difficult it is to to try that so we can start with the least number as we advance to the more advanced uh, puzzle so can we start with this so i just click on that and then we start a new game <clears throat> and there we are it's a puzzle that we are going to play online if there are more than one people who are playing the same puzzle, you will see their timings, whatever uh, time they achieve, they finish the game in. So, so let's look at it. This is a six-piece game. The number is written here, a six. So that means that there are six pieces of the game. Can we count them? Of course, those are three. And then on this other side, we have four. We have five, and then we have six. And this is a picture of how the complete puzzle should look like. So now, you can see my timing has already begun. Now I'm at 24, 25 seconds. So we are going to arrange our pieces of the puzzle until they look like this. So you can always hide that picture if you don't need it by clicking uh, on the left side. Or you can also click there to show the picture again. So now that we have seen the picture, can we try to arrange our puzzle? How do we do that? The tricks of achieving or of winning a puzzle within a very short time is putting those pieces of the puzzle which look like they have a similar item together for example i'm looking at that and i can see three of my puzzles have the carpet so i can just bring them closer to one another oh that is even working and even that it works very well so that is the, the part of the puzzle on the lower side and then I have three more pieces, one, two, and then I have three. So now I need to place these puzzles. So what do I look for? I look for the original picture. Let me look at it. Mm -hmm. I can see there is a green leaf and the green leaf is on the, the far left. So I try to fix that green leaf somewhere there. Is it working? Oh yeah, it works. And then in between, there is a window, the big one. So can I bring this one over here? Oh, wonderful. And obviously this one comes over. And now, 
that is done and i've done or i've finished this puzzle within two minutes 14 seconds so if there were other players that is um number one if there were other players who were playing the same game they will be listed here number two number three number four that way so you'll be able to know if you're playing against your classmates you're going to know how did i fare so after that you can do it again you can play the game again you can reshuffle or you can go and choose another game how do you choose another game you go to my puzzles and then you can choose um let's choose one the, the very hungry caterpillar now hmm? there it is the pieces are there the pieces are there pieces are there how many pieces should be six <coughs> yeah six pieces so now i have to rearrange these six pieces so that they look like a complete hmm, picture as it is here so i know that the words should be on the corner there right then the head should come down there mm. and then now what comes next the one with legs should come over there is it right is it there wonderful and the other legs should actually be the last one is it there oh yes then this one oh and uh, and I got that right. Well, that was so fast. Mm -hmm. Can we play another one? I hope you're enjoying. Let's play another one, number nine. Let's go for the one for the Gruffalo. The Gruffalo. And this is nine piece. So, as always, remember, put the pieces on one end. Put the pieces on one end. Put the pieces on one end, you just drag them, carry them, put them there. Mm -hmm. Those are, they should be nine pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. <laughs> then after you've put them in one place, bring the pieces that look to look alike. Like I can see, that one is part of the graphalo. There's another part of the graphalo. There's another part of the graphalo here. There's also another part of the graphalo. Wow. Mm -hmm. So can I first arrange this ones and see how that works? So the graphalo, this is a graphalo. Mm -hmm. This is the head, but something is missing. The eye is not complete and I look at it and this one looks like it should come there. Right. Mm -hmm. This is a graphalo's body. So, I look for the stomach, and there is the stomach. Wonderful. And this is the the toes should be down here. I have to put them there, right? Mm -hmm. This is a tree. Can you see? I put it there, of course. And then this is the owl. I have to put the owl there, on top of the graffalo. This there is a stone at the end, so there should be that should go there. Then this one should come in between there because it doesn't have branches, and this one with branches it goes lovely. And that is finished. Mm -hmm. We can play as many games as possible. You can also change this game, and you want to play at a more advanced level. You can say play as twenty-five piece, sixty-four hundred. You know, so if we say we play it at twenty-five, you're gonna have so many pieces. Always start a new game. You're gonna have so many pieces 25 pieces to to play with so that is how to play the game online and this is going to be a very interesting game i'm going to be uh, making puzzles i'm going to be making making puzzles for our library lesson every time we have a story we will be making puzzles and then i'll share them with you so that you can you know do those games thank you very much for watching and hope you will enjoy playing the games.